Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie Bees Creative Studio and welcome back to my channel for another edition of Shipper Sunday. So for those of you who are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and what you do to subscribe is you go down right down in the corner over here, you click that subscribe button and then there will be a notification bell that's down beside the title of this video that you want to click on and that way you will be notified of all future videos. Now let's jump right in to this incredible painting. This is called a polyptych. And what a polyptych is, and now it's in German, it's a little different, and I'm not even gonna like go there and try to pronounce that. But a polyptych is a five panel piece that you put together when you're done. And this does not require a frame. This is a new release for the spring of 2022. And they did not send me this one. Uh, I had to have it so I jumped the gun on shipper and I said I'm getting this one for myself so what a lot of people don't know is when you sign up for my patreon membership for $12 a month one of the things that I do every couple of months is I will go in and place a group bulk order for shipper and their website what that does is it allows our group to get the kits at a little bit cheaper price. We divide the shipping from Shipper by the number of people who are going in on the order. And so that makes it very reasonable because we might only be paying $3 or 3 euros uh, for the shipping. And then when it comes to me, I divide everybody's order out and then I invoice them for whatever the shipping is going to cost for me to get the kits to them. And it sounds like, what? You know, but it ends up being way cheaper than what it would cost you to order these yourself from the shipper website, which sometimes these are only available at the shipper website, it allows you to pay less for the kit to begin with, less for shipping, even if you buy it at, you know, US locations like Kirshner's, which I love, but the shipping, you know, alone can be 11 to $14. So basically it's just one of the things I offer my members on top of a ton of other things. So that is how I got this kit. It is gorgeous, fabulous. Now this is may not be for everybody. You know, all it is is waves. It's a lot of blues and greens, but Hello, beautiful ocean. I just want to be sitting my behind right here on this beach and I want to be enjoying this view. And, and I'm, I'm just in love with this. So let's jump in. Let's take a look at what a polyptic is. And I brought you one before when I brought you the world map, but we're going to take another look. So let's jump right into this. Now, first we're going to talk about how the panels come packaged. Originally, the envelope with the contents of paints, your reference guide, your paintbrush, everything else is in this package. And it was glued to the panels. So I've removed that part and I'm setting it aside for right now so we can really focus on what's in this part of your kit. The envelope is a really nice sturdy envelope to store the panels in. So you can see that they've got all of our five panels in here and that's all that you're gonna have in the envelope. Now let's see if we can take a closer look at the details and the size of the cells for those of you who might be a little concerned about how detailed this particular painting kit is going to be and maybe we can put our minds at ease. <laughs> Just like most shipper painting kits, they do have a lot of detail and the reason for that is that the more small cells, the more detail you're going to have in your final piece. I mean, it just makes good sense. So we do like to see that but these cells aren't what I would call difficult. They're not tiny, tiny little cells. If you have my detail paintbrush set, they're perfect for this kind of thing. This is basically what I designed them for. For example, my 20 slash zero spotter, you know, let's say the smallest cell on here is this 14 and this 20 slash zero gets in there without a problem at all. 
Now I use bigger brushes in these kind of openings, but if you like the tiny little brushes, th th this, this is gonna be fine. So there's nothing that is so small that you really can't get in there even if you're a beginner. So in the bag, this is what I have. I have my reference guide and the reference guide, I know we've talked about it, but this one's uh, gonna have more in it than our other kits because it is apoliptic. This is gonna have the order of the paint pot stickers, which are gonna be in this other little envelope over here, which I'm gonna get into in just a minute. This is gonna have how we're gonna number these paint pots right here. And we're really gonna pay attention because there's a lot of duplicate colors in this particular kit. This is also gonna have the reference guide for every single panel. So it's gonna open up very wide like this. So you have every single section that you need. Of course, we always love having a reference guide. Then we've got our instruction manual and our fabulous, sorry, yummy delicious set of paints. This one is nothing but a beautiful, gradient set of blues, blue greens, and sands. <laughs> um, I mean, just fabulous tans. It, it is gorgeous. We're gonna look at this one in a minute. I've already swatched it, but I'm gonna number these in this little bag. We're gonna have our paintbrush. Now the, the paintbrush is designed for the flow method, which I have brought to you, the flow technique, which is Shipper's own method for paint by numbers. Fabulous, fabulous. I will put the link up here for my video on how to do the flow method, the flow technique, whatever you wanna call it. And it is so easy. It is a beautiful result. And this is how I've been painting my Shipper kits since I was introduced to that method by Lucas Bennett's. Thank you, Lucas. You are incredible for introducing me to that and sharing that with me because even though, as we know, Shipper had it right here, Melanie does not read. All right, <laughs> moving on. All right, so for those who are new to Shipper and don't know, the number of stickers are gonna be put on these pots exactly how they are right here. So when I get down to the ones on the G strip, I'm going to use these white blank stickers and apply those and then write with a Sharpie or whatever pen I choose, whoop, sorry, whatever pen I choose to put the numbers on here because these are duplicates. So this is gonna go up to 36 colors and I end up having 42 on the number stickers. So pay attention to that. Don't get carried away. I'm gonna go and use up to number 36. We're not gonna be using 37 through 42. So pay attention because you can get carried away and just be sitting here throwing down stickers and realize, oh gosh, I've numbered them 37 through 42 and I'm not using those stickers. I'm using blank stickers. So that is something that you always wanna pay attention to when you're numbering because Make that mistake once. Ask me how I know. Ask my group members how many times they've done that. So yeah, it only takes once. <laughs> when you painted a kit and you realize, um, I numbered them wrong and you've done a couple of thousand sales, you know, with the wrong color because you numbered them wrong, <laughs> you don't make that mistake again. All right, so I'm gonna take care of that in a minute. Of course, they tempt us and Shameful, shameful people. Shameful! Because they always include this catalog of Yummy Delicious kits in their packaging. And Melanie sits here with her big fat Sharpie and goes, Ooh, ah. And now Melanie has about 80% of these damn kits. And <laughs> Melanie's gonna have to sell a body part on the black market to <laughs> pay her bills. I'm just kidding. But, but I do have quite a few. <laughs> so anyway, this is their latest catalog because I see Stormy Seas. The last few kits I had did not have this one in it. And I was like, oh, thank goodness, because I don't need to see any new kits. And now this one's got it. So guess what Melanie's going to be doing later? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need to throw that in the trash before I get carried away. One little thing, I know this is simple, you know, but I use a pair of tweezers to pull off the yellow sticker. I used to not do this, but I learned that it was kind of distracting to have that on there. So that is just 
me being me um, and I do it as I'm labeling each strip I don't go ahead and take them all off because then I won't know which one is which in case they get mixed up or whatever and then I number that strip and set it aside so I'm gonna go ahead and number these and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the swatch and I'm gonna just direct you to the instructions on how to put together the polyptics in the world map video and that way we're not going back through that again and you can just fast forward to the part where you assemble the polyptics okay you guys I will be right back with these numbered and this beautiful palette I wanted to put these on a white background so they show up a little bit better because they kind of got lost on this brown background but you guys they're so beautiful now <laughs> for me this is a yummy delicious palette but it's different than most of the ones that I call yummy delicious because it is just a fabulous blues and greens like I talked about it also has some really gorgeous grays and you can see that better on the white background here than you could before and especially now that I have them upside down it's a little clearer but these tans are fabulous as well now you've also got these yellow ochres which are you know usually a pain in our arse and so how did those cover that's always the big question because yellow ochres are which to get to cover as you know once i was turned on to the flow method i always paint shippers now with the flow method so i never worry anymore about transparency or translucent issues with shipper paints not that they ever really had any issues with that but the, the flow method gets rid of any issues I may have ever had with any paints that had any kind of opacity issues. So let's talk about the palette now that I've said that. If you don't use a flow method, if you don't know what the flow method is, I'm definitely going to include a video for you on that because it is just such a cool way of painting. Now a lot of people love a standard painting method. I love the standard painting method but I so enjoy the flow method of painting or the flow technique that I've realized I get more painted with it and these shipper paints than I do with just the standard way of painting so I've thoroughly enjoyed it because I feel like I'm accomplishing more and with my limited amount of time that means a lot to me so if I'm enjoying it and I'm accomplishing more with it then it's kind of like a twofer for me sorry to go into all of that but let's take a look at this beautiful swatch now you guys know I've been mentioning every single time that I have been printing on an inkjet printable canvas so that I can get a really true and accurate representation of how the paints will cover on the board itself and this is stunning now I do have some that didn't give me the best coverage I did stir all of these before I painted but I didn't add any flow aid or anything like that I just stirred them up really well but the yellow ochre color was a little bit streaky here and this number three was a little bit as well number 11 and 10 and 11 were also the same and it looks like that's all so there's 36 unique paints there's 42 pots but six of them are duplicates as I was mentioning earlier but having said that I feel like because I do the flow technique I'm not gonna have an issue but I also gesso my shipper boards before I do a regular painting method if I'm going to use that and I've never had a transparency issue once I've put down Liquitex gesso and I should have mentioned these are not transparent paints none of these are transparent they have a slight translucency to them that was it nothing that was going to be an issue or going to require any kind of super prep or anything like that if anything these would be colors that I might would paint my cells with a color let's say number 11 I would be painting that cell as they're drying I come back I put a little swipe over the number blend it out and I'm done and that's it I don't do two layers on anything but that is it for 
this palette. So you guys, Shipper has done it again and I cannot say I'm surprised. Can you? <laughs> I'm just obsessed with this piece. It is gorgeous. I can totally see this in my art studio, up on my wall, even though it does not go with my Parrots in the Rainforest that's sitting up in the corner. Why couldn't it, right? Why couldn't it? It's my studio. I can make it do whatever it wants. But in all honesty, I'm just in love with this hope you're in love with it too i would love your feedback please drop a comment below let me know what you think of this piece i always appreciate your comments please remember to hit that like button if you love this video and if you want to see more like this join me on patreon i'll put that information in the description below so you can find it easily I also have a new quick and easy way to find products that I've mentioned in this video and all of my other videos. I have my favorite paint by number companies listed on this little what I call mini website, my favorite diamond painting companies, my favorite art supply companies, and all of my social media links where you can connect with me on this website right here in addition to my other websites. Thank you so much for being with me today and for watching. I will see you back soon. Look away, Melanie. Look away. You have no self-control and you know it. Put away your debit cards and your PayPal account. Just don't do it. You have plumbing to fix. Stop. Stop. Add to cart. Add to cart. Add to cart. Mm.